blended spreads. Taste this! We have our splendid spreads. Today this is the Salmon Meza Medley. Beautiful stuff. We're going to actually be incorporating this uh, in our Caesar salad. You heard of anchovies. Back away. Use this stuff. I got a request to, hey, what's a variation on a Caesar salad? So I want to answer that email by doing a Caesar salad dressing. So for, what you're going to do first is add two cloves of garlic and you're going to add some uh, egg yolks. Now. In this case, just to show you for purposes of time, these are not pasteurized egg yolks. When I'm, when I'm telling people how to make Caesar salad dressing, especially for, for those women out there that are pregnant, uh, you should never mess around. You should always use pasteurized egg yolks. You have, first you have the, uh, the, the garlic in there, you have the egg yolks. Turn it on. And now we're gonna add our vinegar. Now what's gonna happen now at this stage uh, is the garlic is going to get mixed up with the egg yolks and you have that acid in there which is going to help bind everything yeah, and, and, and everything's kind of coming together. That's when I throw my salmon in there. Now you could use several spreads that are already made. You can roast the salmon and kind of take it apart piece by piece to put it in this dressing which is really going to be fabulous stuff but you kind of start to see it come together even without putting the oil and the next trick is really the key to making Caesar salad dressing um, if you don't have the salmon already made or whatever splendid spreads is an incredible product you should check them out all right now we go and we get our olive oil I'm grabbing a half a teaspoon of salt because I don't have the anchovies which would help in the salting process because they're cured with salt. And then we're going to turn this up a little bit more and just add a little bit of olive oil until it gets thick. And at this stage now you hear it start to slurp. And it's just going to get thicker and thicker and thicker the more oil that you add. Now depending on how thick you like your Caesar salad dressing, this will determine a lot. Okay, we're just going to turn this up a bit. When you start to hear that high pitch kind of sound, you're finished, you're ready to go. You know, look how thick and creamy this stuff is. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I've seen it thicker, but you know, this is, this is where I like it. So I just pour this in. Now this dressing, because there's no preservatives in there and stuff like that, uh, can last for about three or four days without it going rancid. And I think that that's, uh, you know, really important because you get into a situation where you buy some of these dressings in the stores and they're loaded with like stuff you, you can't even pronounce, uh, much less you want to put in your body. So here you have it. Well, thank you uh, for tuning in to this healthy show of Taste This TV. I hope you learned something today and thanks again for watching. Until next time, remember there are no rules in cooking. Taste This.